the nutrients and microbes get into the plant? This is a microscopic view of a root. Most people think the root is the piece of the plant that soaks up the water, okay? The root is actually just the anchoring device. That's the device that holds that plant in the ground, whether it's turf or whether it's a tree. The root is the anchor. The root hair, something that we can't see, if these hairs are damaged and or the soil around them is so bound up with salts that the microbes and the, the nutrient load can't get into these root hairs, soil's not doing anything for you. You can plant and plant and plant on that soil and you won't get any results out of it because your nutrients can't get into the plant. Your nutrients are bound up on the soil particle and there's no way for them to get in. So we are trying to always build bigger, better root systems. Okay, bigger, better root systems, whether it's in our flower beds, whether it's in our turf plots, whether it's in our trees. Okay, the bigger, better roots you get, the more drought resistant that plant's gonna be, no matter what plant it is. So how can we do that? Has anybody ever heard of mycorrhizal? Mycorrhizal fungi. What it is, it's a naturally occurring beneficial fungi that forms a symbiotic relationship with the plants. So what this mycorrhiza does is once you get it into your soil profile, it gets on all of these root hairs and it expands that root hair. And not only does it expand that root hair, but now it grows because it feeds on the roots. It pulls starches and sugars from the plant so that the mycorrhiza can stay alive. That fungi can stay alive. So it starts building in the soil profile and it makes these roots stronger, better, healthier. Comes in a couple different forms. Here's a, here's a um, $26 packet of a sol water soluble. So you could syringe that, you can throw it or send it around the room, or it comes in a granular. You could syringe that into your soil profile. If you want flowers to just blow up out of the planter bed and look crazy and produce like crazy, that's, that's a great product to start with. So what it does, here's a plant without mycorrhiza, here's a plant with it, planted exactly the same time. One of the soil pots had a mycorrhiza, the other one didn't, obviously this one did. It puffs up those roots. It gives us this, what they call mycorrhizal hyphae, and I'll look at that at the next slide. You um, improve the plant establishment and growth. Obviously, the better the root structure, the stronger, the healthier, the more the plant's gonna grow. Increases your nutrient and water uptake. It's gonna take that water that would normally leach past it, it's going to soak it up, and now it's gonna store it in its own roots. So it gives that plant more drought tolerance. Improved disease resistance because now we got a real healthy root structure. Assists in weed suppression. This is where in your turf plot, if you've got all of this mycorrhiza and you've got all these roots forming this big mass underneath your turf plot and a weed comes in and it tries to get dominance, there's, the turf's already got dominance over it, that weed's not gonna survive. Improves your soil structure because now those roots are going down and they're, they're getting into that soil profile and they're creating a pore space. You get more blossoms, more fruit, and more top growth. And the top growth here is not like you're gonna get spikes in turf growth like you do when you put a straight synthetic fertilizer on and you get that huge spike where the guys are mowing, mowing hay for a couple weeks you get a real nice, even top growth, okay? So you're not gonna get spikes in growth because spikes in the turf growth are very, very detrimental to your turf. It's a huge stress on the turf. So what the mycorrhiza does is it forms this cotton ball-like mass underneath these roots, okay, and around these roots. So here's your roots that are your structure that are holding this plant in place and then all of this, what they call mycorrhiza hyphae out here, is those roots expanding out. They form like this cotton ball mass around these roots. And they're feeding from the roots, but they're also taking and gathering nutrients up for that plant.